In a bold move to accelerate its push into autonomous maritime technology, Saronic has introduced its latest innovation, the Hamarader, a next-gen unmanned surface vessel, hot on the heels of acquiring Louisiana-based shipbuilder Gulf Craft. The strategic acquisition grants Saronic instant access to a fully operational Gulf Coast shipyard, providing a ready-made infrastructure and skilled workforce. This site will now function as the company's central hub for the development and scaled production of its medium-sized autonomous ship fleet. According to CEO Dino Mavrukas, the deal is not just about boosting production. It's also a key stepping stone toward building Port Alpha, Saronic's future-focused mega-shipyard. This acquisition is foundational to realizing our broader vision of a next-generation maritime manufacturing facility, Mavrukas stated. Saronic is allocating more than $250 million to overhaul the site, modernizing systems, installing advanced fabrication equipment, and streamlining operations to enable the production of up to 50 unmanned ships per year. Engineered to serve a wide array of operational roles for U.S. defense, allied nations, and commercial sectors, the Marauder represents a leap in maritime autonomy. It will run the same proprietary autonomy stack featured in Saronic's other vessels, ensuring consistency across the fleet. The Marauder stretches 150 feet in length and is capable of hauling a payload of 40 metric tons, around 88,000 pounds. It cruises efficiently at 12 knots, but can accelerate to speeds above 18 knots when quick maneuvering is required. Designed for endurance, the vessel can either conduct missions over 3,500 nautical miles or maintain station in a designated area for more than a month without support. Saronic emphasizes that the Marauder offers a cost-effective alternative to traditional crewed vessels, delivering advanced capabilities at a fraction of the logistical and financial burden.